We begin this half hour with Decision 2022 and a race that has all eyes on Arizona. The race for Secretary of State, former Maricopa County recorder Adrian Fontes, going toe to toe with state lawmaker Mark Fincham in a televised debate earlier tonight. Thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. Good to have you along. The Arizona Secretary of State is our state's top elections officer. So this race has become a real bellwether for the big lie and how much sway former President Trump still has on the political landscape. Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick was at that debate and joins us with some key takeaways. Bram? Yeah, here's why this race is so important. The next Secretary of State will have to certify the Arizona vote in the 2024 presidential election. State Rep Mark Fincham has promoted the lie that the 2020 election was stolen from Donald Trump. Tonight, Fincham said he would have thrown out Maricopa County's 2020 vote based on conspiracy theories. You've called for that. In the, you've called for the elimination, finish, sir. You've called for the elimination will, of vote by are mail. Are we not going to have, have a not? separated okay. debate here? Yeah. It got testy at times between the two candidates for Arizona Secretary of State, Democrat Adrian Fontes and Republican State Representative Mark Fincham. Would you, as Secretary of State, have signed off on those results? The first question, who won the 2020 presidential election? There are too many hypotheticals to really answer that question because we didn't know what we knew after the election. Fincham dodged, but went on to say he would have tossed out the Maricopa County presidential election results based on an array of conspiracy theories. When we have conspiracy theories and lies like the ones Mr. Fincham has just shared, based in no real evidence, what we end up doing is eroding the faith that we have in each other as citizens. Fincham hit back at Fontes's performance as Maricopa County recorder during the 2020 Democratic presidential primary. Amid a raging pandemic, Fontes decided on his own to mail ballots to all voters. Lori Roberts said Fontes is making up election law as he goes along. This won't end well. In fact, a frightening thought that the guy in charge of elections can do as he pleases as long as there's no prohibition in the law. And people were afraid to leave their homes because they might die. My opportunity to send folks ballots was the one that was on the side of the voters, not on the side of some made up prohibition. That was much calmer than I thought it would be. <laughs> there were moments, there uh, were moments. Yeah, uh, Mark Fincham also made some news tonight involving January 6th. This was totally unprompted, came out of nowhere. Mark Fincham has been linked to planning for the events surrounding the January 6th insurrection. He spoke the night before. He was also at the Capitol that day, did not go inside the Capitol. He said at the debate he's been subpoenaed as a witness by investigators for the January 6th committee and the U.S. Department of Justice. We had not heard that before. Mm. Something to watch. It, it, for sure. <laughs> All right, Bram, thanks.